Wake up, Jacob, Israelite Prepper. A question came to me, and it was uh, asked this way. Can a man wear earrings? Can a man wear earrings? So rather than just give a personal opinion, I'd rather just kind of go to Scripture and see what the Scriptures have to say about it. And I'll give you the Scriptures, and you you make your own decision. You, you figure that out uh, for yourself, and you pray about it. But I'm going to give you the Scriptures where earrings are mentioned. And of course, we, we obviously we have to have like contacts and stuff. So the first place I'm going to look at is uh, Genesis 35, right? So go to Genesis 35, and I'll look at the first four verses. And it says, God said unto Jacob, Arise, and go up to Bethel, and dwell there. And make there an altar unto God that appeared unto thee when thou fledest from the face of Esau thy brother. Then Jacob said unto his household and to all that were with him, Put away the strange gods that are among you, and be clean, and change your garments. And let us arise and go up to Bethel, and I will make there an altar unto God, who answered me in the day of my distress, and was with me in the way which I went. And look at verse 4. And they gave unto Jacob all the strange gods which were in their hands and all their earrings which were in their ears and Jacob hid them under the oak which was by Shechem right so some people will conclude okay see you know can't wear you know earrings okay but obviously we have to look at other things as well so let's look, let's look at a little bit more so I'm gonna go to Exodus 32 Exodus 32 and we'll look at the first three verses on that. Okay, so Exodus 32. And when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mount, the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron and said unto him, Up, make us gods which shall go before us. For as for this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land, we want not what is become of him. So what he's saying, we, we don't know what happened to him. He's taking a long time. Verse 2, And Aaron said unto them, Break off the golden earrings which are in the ears of your wives, of your sons, and of your daughters, and bring them unto me. So they, the sons and the daughters had earrings on. Okay, your wives, the sons, and daughters, and bring them unto me. And all the people break off the golden earrings which were in their ears and brought them to Aaron. Now, some people say, okay, see, they're in, they're in Egypt. They're serving Egyptian gods. You know, you, you know, you can't have, you know, or men should have earrings and stuff like that. That's fine. I want you to draw your own conclusion. Okay, so let me go to Exodus 35. Okay, let's go to Exodus 35 and I'm going to go to start at 20. All right, you got to have a little bit of context here. So we're going to start at 20. Exodus 35 and 20 said, And all the congregation of the children of Israel departed from the presence of Moses. And they came, everyone whose heart stirred him up, and everyone whom the Spirit made willing. And they brought the Lord's offering to the work of the tabernacle of the congregation, and for all this service and for the holy garments. And they became both men and women, as many as were willing-hearted, and brought bracelets and earrings and rings and tablets, all jewels of gold, and every man that offered offered an offering of gold unto the Lord. And every man with whom was found blue, purple, scarlet, fine linen, goat hair, red skins, rams, and badger skin, brought them. Okay, these is fine clothing. And 24, everyone that did offer an offering of silver and brass brought the Lord's offering, and every man with whom was found shittim wood for any work of the service brought it. And all the women that were wise-hearted did spin with their hands and brought and brought that which they had spun, talking about clothing and garments, both of blue and of purple and of scarlet and of fine linen. And all the women whose heart was stirred them up in wisdom spun goat's hair. Okay, so we get we get an idea what um, what had happened. So what we were looking at was verse twenty two. Okay, verse twenty two. All right, and they came both men and women, as many who were willing hearted, and brought bracelets and earrings and rings. And so some people say, well, you know what? That doesn't mean the men had the, the earrings. Okay, that's fine. See, I'm not here to debate. I'm here just to present the um, the uh, 
the uh, the scriptures, okay? And notice, some people say, well, he's just justifying because he has earrings. No, I don't. I have no, no earrings and there are no holes in my ears, okay? So, not justifying. All right, don't have any earrings. So, we're going to continue. Numbers, let's go to numbers. Uh, let's see here. Numbers... Actually, Numbers 31. Numbers 31. So if we go to Numbers 31 and 50, but actually, if I back it up just a little bit, let's go, say, 48 to 50. So Numbers 31, 48 to 50, and it says, And the officers, which were over thousands of the host, the captains of thousands, the captains of hundreds, came near unto Moses. And they said unto Moses, Thy servants have taken the sum of the men of war, which are under our charge, and there lack not one man of us. We have therefore brought an oblation for the Lord, what every man has gotten of jewels of gold, chains, bracelets, rings, earrings, and tablets to make an atonement for our souls before the Lord. Okay, so that's Numbers 31, 48 through 50. So it could be, hey, you know what? It's just what they got, spoils of war, whatever. Doesn't mean they won. Okay, no problem. Okay. No problem. So, we're going to continue. Just like, because they did the same thing in Judges. And let's see here. If we go Judges 8. If I go Judges chapter 8. Okay, I'm going to get all this together. So, if I go Judges chapter 8, and I'm going to start at verse 24. And it says, And Gideon said unto them, I would desire a request of you, that ye would give me every man the earrings of his prey. For they had golden earrings because they were Ishmaelites. Okay, so obviously it's saying the Ishmaelites wore earrings, right? So Gideon's asking for those. And they answered, we, we will willingly give them. And they spread out a garment and did cast therein every man the earrings of his prey. Okay, so we know that uh, other men, okay, we know like the Ishmael, uh, Ishmaelites, they're Hebrew as well. So we know other Hebrews wore it, okay, the Ishmaelites. All right, and they answered, we will willingly give them a spread. Okay, got the 26. And the weight of the golden earrings that he requested was 1,700 shekels of gold beside ornaments and collars and purple raiment that was on the king of Midian and beside the chains that were about their camel's necks. 27, and Gideon made an ephod thereof and put it in his city, even in Ophrah. And all Israel went thither a, a whoring after it, which thing became a snare unto Gideon and to his house. Now, obviously, when he made this, you know, ephod or whatever, and people start, you know, worshiping and it became a problem. It, it got them caught up. That's how it became a snare. What, it, what Gideon meant for good, it got turned bad. Thus was Midian subdued before the children of Israel so that they lifted up their heads no more and the country was in quietness 40 years in the days of uh, Gideon. Okay, so he wanted to uh, wanted to do a good thing and then became kind of, they got caught up a little bit. Okay, so obviously if you go to Isaiah 3, okay, then you know, we're talking about the daughters of Zion, like how they got haughty and they had Earrings, like in in three twenty, you know, it was Isaiah, you know, it's talking about the bonnets and the ornaments on their legs and the headbands and the tablets and the earrings. We know the women wore earrings, okay? So we don't want to, you know, I really want to make anything out of that because we know they they wore earrings, right? So, and then if we go to Ezekiel, we was talking about let's see, Ezekiel sixteen. Yeah, I'm gonna read. A little bit. I'm just doing, I'm reading for context because if I go straight to it, you know, people will feel some type of way. So I'm gonna start at five and end at uh, twelve. So let's see, Ezekiel sixteen. Ezekiel sixteen. I'm gonna start at five. None I pity thee to do any of these unto thee to have compassion upon thee, but thou was cast out in the open field to the loathing of thy person in the day that thou was born. And when I passed by thee and saw thee polluted in thy own blood, I said unto thee, when thou was in thy blood, live, yea, I said unto thee, when, when thou was in thy blood, live. Okay, so this is like the most high talking to, you know, Israel. Um, I have caused thee to multiply as the bud of the field, and thou hast increased and waxed, waxing great. 
and thou art come to excellent ornaments. Thy breasts are fashioned, thy, thine hair is grown, whereas thou was naked and bare. Okay, so you are uh, restored. He's just saying, you know, hey, you're restored. Now, when I pass by thee and look upon thee, behold, thy time was the time of love, so nurturing and taking care of Israel. And I spread my skirt over thee and covered thy nakedness. Yea, I swear unto thee and entered into a covenant with thee, says the Lord God, that thou becomest mine. Then what in verse 9? And I wa then washed I thee with water. Yea, I thoroughly washed away thy blood from thee, and I anointed thee with oil. Okay, so he washed away our sins and our transgressions and things like that, and anointed, anointed us with oil. I cloaked thee also with the broidered work and shod thee with badger's skin, okay, fine clothing. And I girded thee about with fine linen, and I covered thee with silk, okay. I decked thee also with ornaments, and I put bracelets upon thy hands and a chain on thy neck. And I put a jewel on thy forehead and earrings in thine ears and a beautiful crown upon thy head. Okay, so this is the Lord restoring Israel. And he's saying all the things that, you know, he has done, okay, that he's done to Israel. You know, restored them, fine linen, linen, their, their health, washed away their sins. And he started putting ornaments on them and put bracelets on them, put chains around their necks, okay, and put a jewel in their forehead and earrings in their ears. Okay, so we can't. It's, it's kind of hard to equate earrings being bad or whatever um, when this is how the Lord, you know, describes what he's doing for Israel, right? It's kind of like when people say, oh, well, you know, polygyny is bad. But then when he likens himself like a polygynist, you know, being married unto Israel and Judah, oh, okay, we know the same nation and split. But when he does that or you have the parable of the ten virgins, whatever, so when he likens himself as a polygynist, then... You know, we can't call that bad. Now, but I know the question is, can a man wear it, right? So we're going to get to that, all right? Because I actually don't want this to be super, super long. Okay, so. Uh, so finally, let's go on over the last place. Let's go over to Job 42, all right? And this is going to be, this is up to you guys. Job 42. So we know Job was restored. Uh, we know everything was taken away from him. His health, his wealth, his family. I mean, ev everything. Land. He just lost everything. Okay? He lost everything. He lost everything short of losing his life. And part of that, that's not even true. He lost his old life. You know, he got a new life. But the last chapter of Job, which is 42, let's look at it right here. 42, and I'm going to start at 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Then, they, then came there unto him all his brethren and all his sisters and all they that had been of his acquaintance before and did eat bread with him in his house. And they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. Every man also gave him a piece of money, silver, and everyone an earring of gold, an earring of gold. So when I looked at uh, that, I said, well, let me look. Let me, let's just look up earring. I just want to make sure, okay? Which is not zim, okay? It is the, the Hebrew, 6141. What is that? Oh, sorry. That's my, my, my bad vision. Uh, 5141, 5141, okay, in the Hebrew. And it says it's a ring, nose ring, or earring. Okay, ring, nose ring, or earring. Okay, so it's still a, a piercing, all right. But they gave it to him. Okay, so they gave it. They gave it to him. So let's see if it says anything else. Okay, nose ring, and earring. Okay, it's a jewel, nose ring, and earring. That's that's what it is. Okay, that's what it is when you check it out in the strong. So they gave him that, and then of course, if we continue, so the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than the, his beginning, for he had. 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, and a 1,000 yokes of oxen, and a 1,000 she-asses. He also, he had also seven sons and three daughters, and so on, and so, so on. And of course, when you go to the end, 17, so Job died being old and full of days. So, I want you guys to take that for what you will, you know, um, you see what the scripture says, I would ask, I would have you study to show yourself approved. I mean, there's some other uh, things in there that you can look at, other things in, in the Bible you can look at. But I just wanted to answer that question, you know, can a man have an earring? Okay, so I would always say go back to Torah, 
um, look in the scriptures, um, look to see, you know, if there's a prohibition for it, if something inherently evil about it, like a man having an earring, uh, having earrings in his ear or whatever, tell me what you find, okay? If you find something different, okay, than what I laid out, you find something different, then please put it in the uh, comment section below. Give me your thoughts. Put it down there. Um, if it's, you know, if it's a sin or if it's wrong, if it's an abomination or something, if you find something that I overlook, I'll stand corrected. Okay, so go ahead and put that down there. Let's discuss it. Let's just make sure that we are operating according to what the Bible says. So I'll talk to you guys another time. This is a like prepper. See you guys on the next video.